Emma, congratulations on getting the Tier 2 licence. Just what does it mean to yourself and to the women's team? It's an incredible achievement, first and foremost. Um, it's the first time that we've gone through the actual licensing process. Uh, so to actually achieve the licence in the first phase was, was fantastic in itself. And then, obviously, going into the second phase, then to uh, secure the place in, in the league, then has, has just been a, a massive achievement for everybody involved. There's a lot of hard work gone into it with uh, for a lot of people at the club, and we're very, very proud of, of actually achieving the status this time. You mentioned the hard work that's gone into it. For those that perhaps don't know, could you give us an insight into just how much has gone into getting Wrexham in from where they were to where you need to be and where you want to be going forward? Yeah, we, we've, before we, we entered the licensing process, we were, were playing in the North Wales Women's League on pretty much a shoestring uh, staff in all fairness. Uh, we had the manager, the assistant manager, myself as club secretary, um, and, and the playing, uh, players, sat, and that was it really. So we, we've managed to get uh, extra additional staff in place. We've managed to uh, recruit a, a sports therapist. We've managed to bring a goalkeeper specific coach and um, we've managed to secure again another season at Colliers Park which is was one of the best facilities that in the area in, in, in Wales even so we're very very lucky now to be stepping up into into getting those kind of um, facilities and the infrastructure that we've always wanted and, and now we've got that backing from the club we're able to do so. And I believe the players are going to notice some big changes perhaps over the coming months as well. Some huge changes we've at the moment and, and up to this point we've trained once a week uh, at Collier's Park and then we've had a game uh, on the weekend. We're now going from that to one training session a week, a fitness session a week and an analysis session a week. So we're having a lot more contact with the players, we're able to utilise those as much as we can to further aid player development and, and really step up the standards really with what we've had before. And also they no longer have to pay for their training sessions. No, before, again, leading up to this season, it's something that, has, has, unfortunately, within the amateur women's game, it's, it's something that happens on a regular basis, that payers do have to pay subscriptions to play. We want to break down those barriers and, and provide as many opportunities um, and, and good opportunities for women to, and girls to play football. And part of our strategy going forward is to remove those barriers, the costs being, being one of the biggest ones that, that's currently out there at the moment. And what can people look forward to going forward now from the women's team? What can we expect to see on that side of the club now? It's, I think the standards is a, is a massive thing for us. Um, that goes across the board, so that's not just the players, it goes as, uh, for the staff as well. Um, for the, the whole infrastructure, that the standards, we're, we're really raising those as much as we possibly can to provide the best possible environment really for, for female players to come and, and get involved with us. You know, obviously the idea is that uh, we want to take them into the Welsh Premier League and become a, a permanent feature in that Welsh Premier League. So what are the next steps for yourself and for the women's team now then? So th there's this point now we're starting to look at stepping up our recruitment uh, drive so we're looking for players now to strengthen the squad and we've, we've got a, a good set of numbers already um, but we're looking to, to strengthen that and again we, because we, we're looking to progress into the, into the Welsh Premier League hopefully sooner rather than later, uh, the strengthening is, is going to be needed uh, to boost the squad there. So we're looking for any players now that, that wish to come and get involved with us, um, please get in touch with us um, via the, the various uh, options that you can find online. 